All right, gang, math 6610. Well, here's how we find that stuff. All right. Uh, if you just watched the previous video, I had a, a slight technical glitch. And uh, I just had to, uh, I didn't want to scrap the whole video because I was uh, okay with the way it went. So, uh, an abrupt, clumsy ending. All right, gang, let's, uh, let's jump into the write up. Uh, very similar to the other. I'll go through it uh, line by line so you know what I'm thinking. First thing I do is just introduce to the audience uh, the, the technique that I'm uh, using. Uh, next thing I dive into G Power. I should have already had that up, but I don't. So let me show you um, uh, how this works. Uh, interesting uh, little caveat, I guess, to um, uh, the dependent samples t test. Uh, first thing we know is we live uh, in the t distribution to model this phenomena. <clears throat> Come down and uh, select uh, dependent sample, dependent means, and we run it. Want to run a priori uh, as almost always with the well, as with always with the t test, we we'll run a two tail. Now <clears throat> the effect size. I'm not a big fan of this uh, using Cohen's DZ. Uh, in fact, I don't think I'd ever report uh, Cohen's DZ in any publication of mine. Uh, and for reasons I'm really not going to go into, Cohen's D is much better, um, uh, much more understood. But anyway, uh, uh, for some reason, G Power uh, requires you to find that. So I would open this drawer, effect size drawer, as they like to call it, and uh, and you'll see what I've done is <clears throat> over here is I have my data, and I created a new uh, variable called difference, which is just post test minus pretest. Uh, what I did here is I created a new data frame because I wanted the difference to be uh, in my data set. That have to be. Uh, I just wanted it that way, and then I attached it. So there you can see. So uh, what we can see is subject number one had a <clears throat> twelve point increase. Uh, we had a couple of um, uh, students with uh, who, who decreased, but that's. Um, uh, the way it is. Like that happens from time to time. So if I get the mean of the difference, uh, I get 5.9. I'm going to need the standard deviation of the difference. Let's just go ahead and get that. So uh, 5.9 and 5.607. Is everybody okay with that? I guess you are because I can't hear you. Uh, so I'm going to calculate it. Uh, transfer to the main window and I'm going to close the effect size. Uh, I need uh, type 1 error rate to be 0.05. I want my power to be 0 0.80. And you can see that the total sample size to achieve a power of 0.84 is 10. So we're in good shape. We have uh, 10. Uh, so we looked out uh, perfectly, right? So let's, uh, let's close that down. Uh, so you can see I just write this up. Uh, the results indicated uh, that uh, uh, to achieve a desired power of 0.80, and I report the actual power calculation is 10 subjects, so we do not have a concern at all for power. In fact, we're almost perfect. Uh, next thing I do is I create a, a box plot, a uh, side by side box plot of the pre test and post uh, test. Uh, here I actually use the pre test and the post test measure, and um, there you go. I just go up, uh, go to edit, I go to copy, uh, then I just paste it in my document, resize it according to the way I want to present it. Uh, the next plot I think is kind of interesting. If you uh, uh, come in, you see it's a pretest, post test, and what it does is it takes the pre measure and shows where they're, um, uh, gives a, uh, a graphical representation of. Uh, that student's uh, post-test. Uh, you can see that we have what two students who have decreased and they tend to be on the upper end. So uh, all students with lower scores increased, whatever the intervention was. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, this is easy to find. Um, what, what I do is I create a plot difference here and use a command from the um, paired data uh, a package. Uh, okay, well, I've got to access the library, don't I? So uh, you're going to need the uh, 
the paired data, you know, I've already installed it, and it takes a little while to install it because it's kind of a large package. So again, install dot packages, and then put paired data like that in quotation. So I'm just going to uh, access the library because again, I've already installed it. And now when I go back up to use the paired function, it should work. Now I want to actually plot that. So I want to plot the plot difference, and I want the type to be a profile, I believe. Uh, I want this to be a black and white only, so I'm just going to add this. Uh, uh, keep my big fingers here from doing something crazy. All right. So, um, you know, again, this is just what I do. Again, go to edit, go to copy, paste it in, resize it. Go on with your life. Uh, I think that's a nice representation uh, because, again, I, I don't think I necessarily appreciated that the differences that were negative, the decreases, were on the upper end of the pre-test scores. So uh, I guess I could have eyeballed that and seen it, but uh, I didn't. Uh, next thing is run Shapiro Wilk. So we know from previous uh, we're going to run this on the difference, so Shapiro test difference. Um, so what is up with that? Uh, oh, I misspelled Shapiro. Uh, first mistake I've ever made right there. If you believe that, I got a bridge. I want to sell you. So anyway, uh, remember the the uh, null hypothesis is that uh, we have a uh, our sample comes from a normal distribution, or a population is normally distributed. Uh, we fail to reject, uh, so we can assume the normality assumption is met. We cannot assume our sample is a normal distribution. That's just goofy language. A normal distribution is a theoretical distribution based on our population. This is a sample of just 10 students. Uh, next thing I do is, is I, you know, I get into the uh, uh, mean for just the pretest, uh, and I get in a standard deviation for pretest, and I report uh, uh, the pretest here, and I did the same thing for the post test. You know, I'm going to get into that. All right, next thing I do is I run my t-test, and I'm going to do it a little different here. Uh, the command that I'll use is pretest, post-test. Now, if I want the uh, outcome to look like uh, what I did previously in the calculations, I would put post-test, comma, pretest, but uh, I'm just going to uh, enter it this way. Um, and I forgot something. I have to add uh, paired equal true here. Yeah. I got sloppy there. Actually, I got distracted by my cat who's trying to destroy our Christmas tree. <clears throat> so, uh, uh, occupational hazards here. All right, gang, so uh, T distribution, degrees of freedom, 9, uh, test statistic, negative 3.33, again, round uh, consistently, and our confidence interval uh, has been reported. And the large effect is what I got from the uh, 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 previous video, right? Or, I'm sorry, earlier uh, in this video when I used G-Power. All right, gang, that's all I got. Take care. Let me get off here before my... A cat destroys the Christmas tree. Take care.